Hello everyone, in this video, let us go through some of the questions that were asked on the community recently. Now the first question is about uh, need a recommendation for a partner, a Atlassian ex expert, to evaluate our Jira hierarchy. Now this user Lisa is asking about uh, some recommendations of uh, partners and partners are basically companies who provide uh, services and uh, various other things like uh, hosting or maybe they can help you with the licensing and uh, in case you need uh, some help uh, with your uh, Atlassian tools maybe you want to do a health check or maybe you want uh, some help uh, with the customization or an upgrade you can uh, contact uh, your uh, partner which is uh, probably in your region so if you go to the Atlassian uh, partner website there is a link which I will share in this video and you can find the partner that is uh, near your uh, city or maybe in the same uh, region where you are currently based and uh, you can contact them and i recommend that you contact a couple of them so that uh, they can revert with uh, what they can offer you the second question is about uh, jql and multiple attributes for custom field now mary is asking about uh, that she has written a jql and it has it, it has various queries with multiple uh, um, and so when you combine a lot of uh, queries together you have a very big query now the main question is that uh, she is interested in finding all the issues that uh, are beyond this uh, uh, this this query defined uh, with this uh, jql now to do this uh, you can either uh, modify the jql by using maybe uh, not equal to or in this case my suggestion would be to save your existing query as a filter now when you save your filter it will have a name or a filter id now when you do filter not equal to filter a or filter b the filter that you saved earlier you will get the result of all the issues that uh, uh, do not f fulfill the criteria uh, that you have defined earlier so simply create a filter save save your query as a filter and then simply use that filter in your, in your new jql uh, by using a not equal to and you will get the result that you want now the next question the third question is about how to recover an issue that was uh, deleted now this is uh, a very common question that people ask in jira when you delete an issue you have no way to recover it uh, easily unless you have taken a backup so when you delete an issue it is actually deleted forever and you cannot really retrieve it there is no there is no feature in jira natively that you can use uh, uh, which is something like a recycle bin or a trash from where you can uh, retrieve the issues that uh, were deleted when you delete an issue it is uh, deleted forever but you can also ask your jira administrator or maybe if you have taken a backup and if there is a backup, uh, your Jira administrator or you, if you have the access to the backup, you can uh, probably restore your backup and uh, you can then uh, take a look at your issues that were uh, there earlier before you deleted them. But in my opinion, and this, this is also the recommendation that uh, do not uh, delete issues in Jira. Make them uh, in a closed state or just uh, uh, make them non-editable so they are there in the system but uh, no one can make a change to those issues so let us take a look at uh, one more question the, the question is about how to integrate IntelliJ with the script in our trial version now uh, this uh, uh, question is something that uh, uh, a lot of people ask who want to run who want to use the script runner and who want to basically play with it now you can use a script runner on jira and uh, you can use the ui of, of jira interface uh, but you can always uh, do more uh, when you have intellij because with, with the help of intellij you can also link it to your jira source code and uh, when you're using uh, intellij you can actually write the code uh, much faster because it will do some recommendations for you when you are uh, writing your code and if you want to do this integration if you want to learn how to do it you can uh, go to the script runner documentation where uh, you will find uh, detailed information about uh, how to integrate uh, IntelliJ with your uh, script runner. So these are all the questions that I wanted to answer in this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.